Hey, let's talk about auto vents for a minute. First of all, drainage requires a vent. In order for the drainage to flow, it needs some air, and typically a vent will run all the way outside. This enables airflow inside of the drain. But what happens if you cannot get the vent all the way outside, like on an island fixture? Well, this is where the auto vent becomes useful. An auto vent is a device that allows airflow into the drains without allowing sewer gas to blow out. So it's perfect for an island vent situation. To install an auto vent, you'll want to start with a two inch pipe that is installed during the plumbing rough stage. This pipe will need to be positioned so that it comes right up inside of the cabinet and preferably in a back corner. The auto vent is not installed until the cabinets, countertops, and sink have been installed and it's installed inside the cabinet at the time that we connect the sink. So let me show you what I do to install an auto vent. We're going to start with this kitchen sink. It has a single outlet from the drain and we have a garbage disposal on there but really we're just looking for where does this connect to. I'm going to loosely fit my slip joint P-trap onto the drain where it's going to connect. This is kind of doing things in reverse. You know, normally you'd kind of hook up things and come towards the sink, but in this case, I want to know what height is this trap going to sit at when it's installed. And you can see this kind of angles over toward the pipe where we're going to connect the trap. When I hold up my Santee, this shows me right where I need to cut off the pipe. So then I'm going to take this trap back off. I'm going to cut that pipe off so that when I glue the Santee on, it's going to be right at the height that I need. I removed and then reinstalled the garbage disposal just so I'd have room to make my cut. Once my cut is complete, I can glue on this Santee. Remember, whenever you're gluing inside of a finished cabinet, you want to be really careful, especially if you're using purple primer or colored PVC glue. You can get clear glue, which is helpful, but some code requires that you use a colored primer and glue so that you can see that you know you've glued the pipe so we're going to glue this all together so i like to glue on the horizontal trap arm with the threaded trap adapter and then i'll glue the santee onto our stand pipe coming up from below it's important to make sure that that pipe is angled over towards the drain on the disposal where it's going to connect once the santee is in place it's really ideal if you can just run a pipe straight up from there and put the auto vent on top. You want to get that auto vent as high up in the cabinet as possible. You can see in this cabinet because there is a whole bunch of extra structure I can't come straight off the top of my pipe so I'm gonna to need to do an offset and that's fine you can do an offset when you're running an auto vent. In this case I'm just gonna cut a couple of pieces, a couple of 90s. We'll get that all fit together and once again, we'll get that auto vent up as high as possible in the cabinet. Once that offset and the auto vent are all glued in place, I can fit my slip joint P-trap back onto my garbage disposal tighten everything up, make sure it's secure, and test for leaks. One last thing, if your pipe coming up through the cabinet is not in the right place, you can offset that back. You can see here I've used a couple 45 fittings to angle that to the back of the cabinet, and then I've hooked up the Santee behind the disposal. Good luck as you install an auto vent. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.